Right, this um, short little tutorial is to talk through how to use or how to set up um, the composition in Vuo with the um, particle emitter node that's available from Vuo, uh, from an, a user of Vuo to, uh, uh, from their website. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about that and then show you how to get it set up on your machine. So this is the patch, um, the little bubbles one that I showed in class has a fire on start. It uh, will go this way first. You're very familiar with this section, which is um, the input, the OSC input from um, on listening on port 7000. So we give it a little uh, bang at the start, say listen to port 7000, receiving the messages from NIMate, uh, going to the, the filter skele uh, skeleton, coming out uh, for this one on the right hand, and going to the base position of uh, the particle emitter. We'll talk about more about the particle emitter in a second. Now this little node is just one of the fun ones that I uh, discovered and I work with um, in regards to uh, if you have an object um, uh, you can turn around and color the edges and have the interior be soft or completely uh, um, uh, transparent the sharpness of those edges and the width and you can play with that a bit uh, and, uh, and come up with some interesting um, shapes. The, and then a make sphere, we make one sphere with that edge shader so you can see I've got to start, bang, uh, the color in, make a sphere that goes into a copy 3D object and that copy 3D object actually has the opportunity to put in lists of translations or positions of those objects, rotations and scales. And uh, the longer version of the particle emitter actually allows you to put out lists of different rotations so that things can be spinning in different ways as they come out and also scales so they can be different sizes coming out of the particle emitter as well. So I was tempted to do that with this one so the bubbles would be different sizes but uh, it, I just want to keep this simple. From there, then, that list of translations is going to go to a render scene window. And um, the only thing out from the render scene window is this requested frame. If we take a look at the, um, the node library and an explanation of, so all three of the, the render scene, render layer, or render image to window, um, have this requested frame. And the requested frame is when the display is ready for the next frame, fires an event. So you get this firing an event timed with the frame refreshing and therefore you can use it to drive things, uh, video events um, like uh, this particle emitter and, they, and then they have a nice smooth action to them. Um, so that goes into the time of the particle emitter. The other things that I've done here, you can have a, a various uh, uh, counts of particles. I'm using 50 and um, with a lifetime on them before they disappear um, or, or almost look like they pop in the case of the bubbles, but um, they have a lifetime. The longer it is, the longer they'll last. If you put it long enough, it'll go right off the screen and you won't see them um, um, uh, popping off like that. Uh, and then the base position, which we could control from our right, with our right hand, a reset if we wanted to, a maximum velocity and a minimum velocity. So here on the X, I've got the going, um, uh, like a little bit positive 0.1, a little bit negative 0.1, so a little bit coming out from side to side, uh, and, and going up, everything's going up from be between 0.1 and 0.2, uh, and then a little bit front and back on the um, on the z-axis from 0.2 to minus 0.2. Um, I can't really get a lot of effect out of these velocity ones, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, the gravity acceleration, I've got a negative gravity. In other words, they're, they're slowly floating up, and when I get it running here, I'll show you that you can um, make it pull down to the ground or whatever quite quickly. Um, now, let's take a look at how to get this into your Vuo because it does not come packaged with it, and uh, none, of the, none of the ones that are built by users uh, nodes come packaged with it, but you can find them on the new site, Vuo site. So if we go to Vuo, uh, go to Community, Node Gallery, then we'll scroll down till we get to um, the Particle Emitter, uh, which is uh, made by VJ Satoshi, and uh, we'll just download um, his uh, zipped package. And I'm going to look at it in my Finder. 
and here it is here and I'm going to um, unzip it and then here we have some sample um, Ruo uh, compositions uh, that he's provided to let you see how to actually use the nodes and then the nodes themselves are here there's only three he's, he's got a list he's got more than the ones we're using here and some of them are interesting but um, what we're going to do is uh, use the emitter one so that one and that one and that one and then you would just copy those and then if we go back to Vuo and go to tools open the user modules folder and um, then in the user modules folder you would paste them into this folder restart Vuo don't forget to restart once you do uh, and then open up one of his um, his um, Vuo compositions, then it would run for you. So I'm just going to show you one thing because he's got um, he's got a bit of a problem in his compositions in that he used one of his nodes that actually doesn't work very well. Um, so if we if we take a look at say for example this one that he's created using three of his long emitters, so it's a bit of a complex um, composition that he's done. I'm going to just zoom in on this node here so you can see what it looks like. So windows allow you to give them properties such as uh, width and height, pixel width and so on. This uh, node of his does not work. And in fact, when you go to run it, it will just the, the window doesn't open at all or if it does it's some weird little shape. So you can just delete that node. It does it's not necessary necessary for it to run. And then you can run these um, this emitter one right there. And this one has the collision turned on, so the balls uh, bounce onto the floor. Um, and uh, like I was talking about in class, it's got like a, a fake floor that you can bounce things around on. One thing that I should have said, uh, actually I led you a little bit astray, you should probably download all, um, copy all of these um, nodes and put them into your user folder um, because um, some of his um, compositions that he's using here are using other of his nodes that he's built. If you go to run them, it'll say that it doesn't exist in your folder. So do them all. Um, just be careful, as I said, um, that this one here, make window property, don't use it in other compositions. Yours, it does not work. And uh, it drove me crazy for offering it up. Um, Vuo itself has their own window property ones where you can set window sizes and things like that. So just stay away from... Uh, um, just stay away from um, VJ uh, Satoshi's version of the window property. Okay, and then just returning back uh, quickly to Vuo, and uh, I've been having a bit of a problem where the screen goes dimmer when I start this, but I just wanted to do see if I could get a brief little demonstration in on uh, the particle emitter. And uh, I'm just going to take this down in size a bit so we can look here. And the only thing I wanted to show you was the uh, the um, acceleration here. If I put it positive, it's immediately going to fall to the ground. And uh, I can also turn around and um, uh, make it quite quick so it begins to flow like water and uh, or back to the value that it was where it's slightly rising. And this velocity thing, I can also send them out. Um, so if I went like going like that, it'll shoot them out that way. And uh, so on. So if I wanted to have an object where it was shooting out to the sides, I could do that um, like that. So the X, Y, and Z can have a velocity to them. And if I went here and we go down, then it would start pulling those down and shoot them out like that. Anyways, you can go on forever with it, having fun with it. So um, I'm just going to put that back to where it was. And there we go with the particle emitter. All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me.